Sobrang dami na nga ang nakakalaban ng ating pambansang kamao, at kalimitan nga dito ay ang mga Meksikanong hambog. Puro pang mamaliit nga ang ginagawa ng mga Meksikano pag naririnig nila na ang makakalaban lang nila ay isang pipitsuging Filipino boxer lang, sobrang taas nga ang tingin nito sa kanilang sarili at punong-puno ng kahambugan. Sa loob nga ng karera ng boxing career ng ating pambansang kamao ay halos sampong Meksikano na ang nakalaban nito. Ito nga ay sila, Marco Antonio Barrera isang sikat na Mexican boxer, Eric Morales ang kauna-unahang Mexican boxer na nanalo ng world champion, Rustico de Ocampo at marami pang ibang Mexicanong boksingero. Sa laban nga ng ating pambansang kamao kontra kay Eric Morales dito nga nabansagan si Manny Pacquiao bilang isang Mexican executioner. Sa buong laban nga na ito dito natin mapapanood kung bakit ito nabansagan at gaano ito kabrutal pagdating sa loob ng ring. Straight left through the center. Perfect. First All right, left to speed tonight. But Pacquiao's body punches set up another knockdown, and Lawrence Cole says no. it's not a knockdown. Not Their feet a... must have been tangled up. I'll tell you what, that was a hard left hand, and there's another one like... That looks like more of a knockdown. Yeah, because any blow that lands above the waist that causes a person to go down legally is a knockdown. Hey. But Rara gets the cut. Quite as much power in his weight class. But, but, but it brings a lot of... Hard left hand by Barrera. Backs Pacquiao up. Hard right hand by Barrera. Uppercut landed. Didn't manage to really hurt. Pacquiao giving Barrera momentary breathing space. Pacquiao lands a left hand, Barrera counters back with a left and a right. Big punches from Pacquiao, and again the power deficit. Should... Not time the rhythm and the movement of Pacquiao. The punches, and Pacquiao is smart. He's not really throwing hard punches. In that case, I would try to go all out for knockout. Because he can't. For now, minus 40 wouldn't hurt him. He can't. In the pass. Big left hand again by Pacquiao. Barrera having trouble seeing out of his left eye. But I agree with you, I don't... Well, I tell you what, as big as he... Assaulting Marco Antonio Barrera, mugging him, and about to leave him in the gutter. I posted he's not lighting it up like a... The highest regarded fighters in the world. He's an icon. One of the most, been one of the most entertaining fighters in the world. One of the most complete fighters in the world. Wouldn't send him out for the 12th round, Manny. No. I don't care how proud he is. There's no way a great fighter should have to go through three more minutes of this. No, because Pac guy is not backing off. If you have a guy that was he's holding him hurt. Up, Here comes Pac Ferreira's guy. corner. Ferreira's corner, man, is up on the apron. He's, he's going to step into the ring. That's it. To the audience was for him to create anxiety and pressure on Ma Manny. So Hatton wants to apply pressure. And I think he's doing just that. Hard right hand by Pacquiao. Allow Hatton to come forward, catch him on the way in. A key element of the game plan for Hatton, get Pacquiao against the ropes, just like that. With the right and the left. That, that, that punch missed. There's the right again landing. Ended up being a very wrestling type match also. Great right hand for Hatton, glazed across the face and of Hatton, Pacquiao. No, Hatton's Pac face Pac is already red. I thought Pacquiao landed the right hook. Look out, look out, look out! Punch, puncher. Nope, follows the jab with a hook, comes back with another jab. There's the straight left hand, and he landed it right on Hatton's chin. And down goes Hatton after he swings and misses with a left hook. Pacquiao is coming out of the neutral corner in a hurry. Lands another right hook. Pacquiao's hands are so... 
Pacquiao's hands are blindingly thick. No opponent sees the punches coming. A very accurate Another out. perfect right hand for Pacquiao. Another right hook. Straight left hand. Pacquiao's landing at Will. Hard left hand. Hatton has to hold on. Will Hatton make it out of the round? He's down for the second time. This is the brilliance of the Filipino slugger. Here's the first knockdown, Emmanuel. Right, right hook as he was coming, he never saw it. And it what's amazing to see him land a punch and then slip a punch all at the same time shows unbelievable coordination. And then Marquez, a counter puncher, began to solve him. Hatton is not a counter puncher. Hard left hand by Hatton. Ricky has decided to fight fire with fire. Just to try to smother this guy and get close. But the, the, the punch is still packed out. Hard left hand by Pacquiao. Stunned Hatton and knocked him back. Look at the brilliant accuracy of Manny Pacquiao. Landing with both right and left hands. And then he closed down Pacquiao's left side. Hard right hand again by Pacquiao. Over past the zoo. Pacquiao's, Pacquiao's blinding speed that sets him apart. Ability to punch, maintain balance, which he used to couldn't do. And his head, head movement. And allowed himself to get a little wild. Now he goes back to more precision. That is. Oh, oh my gosh, what a straight left thing. And will Hatton make it up from this? Can he beat the count? Is that it? And Kenny Bellis says, no way. That is that. What an amazing knockout shot. That is the most spectacular one-punch shot of Manny Pacquiao's incredible career. Any fighter. And Take a look at this. Take a look at this. This is a perfect time. That and was it, super slow yeah, motion. Yeah, and he never saw it. He was unconscious from the moment he caught that shot. Goes to the canvas in the proverbial heap. There's the speed advantage for Pacquiao. Cotto will keep going there anyway. Good left hook by Miguel Cotto. Cotto just physically got bigger guy. Now Pacquiao starting to. He's going to punch so far. And he's going to see if Pacquiao can take his stuff. Pacquiao hits Cotto with a hard left hand. And another. And another. But Cotto can take the punch. He's not being knocked back. Good body shot by Cotto. Plus the footwork gets him into position oh, yeah. to he, land. He bounces off his top. Very good. He was rushing in. And he landed a little right hook in there. Okay. And follows up by knocking Pacquiao beating Cotto to the punch now. No blood. Three hard body shots for stop throwing. Cotto lands his jab. Now when Pacquiao throws, Cotto goes into a little shell. Because of all the speed he's seen. That's Manny's rhythm to go in and out and punch on his Left toes. hook counter by Cotto Landon. We've seen Cotto in these situations before. And he comes back. Pacquiao getting hit in recent fights. Uppercut snaps Pacquiao's head back. Remember? Great reflections and time and weight can see his little openings that very few fighters can see. That's why he lives a lot. But he, even he landed it a few times. Because he can hurt you with punches and not even stand up punches. And, and when Cotto... Tactical retreat. Absolutely. Just as he was in the late rounds against Margarito. Decision to just box is yielding better results than, than the earlier firefight. But now Pacquiao's backing him off again. Got him against the ropes. Tries to end it with one big left. But Cotto backs into the corner. He's in big trouble now. The fight could end in a matter of seconds. Holding on. He can't, he can't, he can't hold this round. He can't see the punches coming. Trying to counter. Freddie's been pretty good at this, huh? Might be. He said Pacquiao would still win. Pacquiao going to go in for the kill. Now. Pacquiao is looking for KO 11 right here. Cotto still fighting. Um, we're we're at the end of the fight. Sure. You have to doubt he'll ever be great again. And Miguel Cotto's father, Miguel Cotto Sr., wanted to stop the fight and was talked out of it by the others in the corner, including head trainer Joe Santiago. Now Kenny Bayless does his duty.
Now flirts with the corner there, then moves away. Now his back is against the ropes. Margarito tries to press the action. Pacquiao hits a bluff with a big left hand. And then flurries. Marks begin to show on Margarito's face as he has a big red welt under his right eye. So Pacquiao can do that. Yeah, Margarito's saying that Pacquiao's not hurting him, but his face is telling a different story. Indeed. And Pacquiao's beginning to land with almost every punch. Pacquiao was a terrific, world-class, one-handed fighter. Margarito banging him against the ropes here, trying to get to Pacquiao's body to change the fight. Pacquiao fighting back with his back on the ropes. And here comes And he Manny. turns it around and bangs oh. Margarito viciously on the bad eye. And another one. Hits him again with the left. Margarito nods at him. Pacquiao hits him at will. Bang! That's his biggest factor, is fighting while he's tired. And he's blocking some of the punches, taking some. He took a big left hook to draw your own conclusions. I talked to Miguel earlier today. Miguel said this is going to be a very tough fight. Because I was telling him, I thought that Pacquiao I had to edge. He said, man, he may have edge, but it's going to be a hard fight. Punches a little better than a smaller guy. But a regular 140-pounder, I think Manny would have knocked out at this point. Unless somebody wants to stop the fight because of that right eye, which is grotesque. You got to do what he does better than any boxer in the game. Let a guy miss, catch him with a punch, let him miss, hit him with a punch again. A lot of guys will let guys miss punches, but they don't take advantage of it the way that he does. Margarito, Freddie Roach wanted to get the Texas State Athletic Commission to make Margarito shave off the beard, which probably they would have done. Pacquiao said, leave it there. I want to use it as a target. That's a fighter. Greatest offensive fighter of the era. Physically fatigued, both. And this left what right up. That's what he he he's ready to go. That's one of the biggest jabs. I didn't see yeah. it coming. That was a right hook from Pacquiao. Yeah. Another measure of redemption for Margarito. Even though he's the villain with the hand wraps, hopelessly behind and no, getting no hand movement at all. Pacquiao oh. looking towards the ref, asking him to stop the fight at this point. It looks to me. Landed a shot, looked for it. He's out, being out punched, but the referee has his way up a few more seconds for the second. Manuel, he's rearranging Margarito's face. If the referee stopped, it wouldn't be any complaint, but I just don't think he's going to stop it. It's really like it he's going to stop it. Lawrence Cole. It's a, a solid target. He's not moving his head. I honestly wonder whether Pacquiao has no more stomach for the punishment. Then he took the fight. Hard to say because yeah. he's fighting such different guys a bigger every guy. time out, and they're all so big. Jim, your prediction was right.